What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers come with me today We're going to be doing a first clean on this new job new customer. We've got to do today It's an old Scottish farmhouse So we're gonna let you see how we use a combination of the water fed pole system and traditional gear to get absolutely perfect finish So come with me today and uh, let's see how we get on Okay then folks, so now what we're going to do is we're going to clean the Velux which is up there. So we've got the angle adapter here, so we're going to put a few clicks downwards so that the brush is at the right angle for cleaning the Velux window. So we'll just do that now. So just a quick release lever like that and just lower it down almost so that the pole is going that way and then the brush goes that way. That's probably the best way to describe it, at a right angle. Okay, and that way you'll get a good scrub on the Velux window and it'll be rinsing the window down, pushing the dirt down the window as opposed to up the window. If you don't change your angle from when you're regularly cleaning windows, standing, looking at them, then you're gonna be spraying the water up the Velux and all the dirt up the Velux. So remember to change your uh, angle of the brush head when you're doing Velux windows. So let's crack on and go and do that, shall we? Okay now folks, what we're going to do is just go around and check all the windows. Now like we said before, if it has come out with the water fed pole okay, then you don't need to obviously go over them again with the traditional method. But just going around and checking the windows, this is just on the first clean if you are intending on doing a maintenance clean or if you're just doing a one-off. This is good practice to make sure the windows are absolutely perfect before you drive off. Okay, so we're just coming up on the first window now, just up the ladder. So this is just around about 20 feet up or so and you can see here already there's dirt that didn't quite get off with the brush. Reason being is obviously you can't see it from down there. So this is one of the reasons I would encourage you to go up and check afterwards. See, you've even got bits in here that didn't quite get with the brush. You can see spider webs in there and the brush was tilted and scrubbed up and down, but this can still be better quality using the traditional methods afterwards. But basically it's done a, a pretty good job. It's not too bad. Um, there's a bit up here on the glass that would need redoing with the soap and bronze wool. So all in all, it's taken the worst of it off, but this is one of the major reasons I wouldn't rely solely on water fed pole for a first clean is that it just doesn't get everything off of the frames and the glass. Now for those that say that it does, you're obviously not going up your ladders and checking because from down there, yes, it looks clean, but when you come up here up on your ladders, you can actually see there's bits left that didn't quite come off, which are not visible from 20 feet down on the ground. So again, good practice, come up on your ladders, make sure that everything's looking hunky-dory before you drive off. And then you know you've got that peace of mind that you've done an absolute quality job. And also, if it's a maintenance job, when you come back, then you can use the, the obviously water-fed pole alone, just using that, and there'll be no issues. But just for first clean, water-fed pole, 
then traditional afterwards just to guarantee everything is spotless. So let's crack on and get this frame and panes looking absolutely splendid. So just using a microfiber frame cleaning cloth, let's get that stuff off that just didn't quite come off with the water fed pole. And you can get obviously your finger inside the cloth, get it into these grooves and get all that stuff out. Reason being obviously if the customer comes to the window and uh, has a look out the window, they can see you've cleaned out all this stuff as well. And then you're more likely to uh, get a good review, aren't you? If you uh, make it absolutely perfect. So just getting all under here, and all these little gaps and things that I didn't quite get managed to get into with the brush. Now, obviously on the ground floor, this would be easier because you could see all this and you'd be able to do it no problem probably. But uh, if it's higher windows, then there's, unfortunately there's just no way of getting all this out without getting nose to glass. So it depends on the service you want to offer. If it's just a, you know, what essentially I would call just a quick clean, a basic clean, then yes, just water fed pull it. And if your customer's happy with that, then fair enough. Um, for me, I like to make sure absolutely everything is spotless. And then that really gives a good impression that you've restored the windows back to what they basically once were. Okay, so that is the frames already looking much better. Just using the microfiber cloth, slightly damp, and all this has been cleaned out and it's all looking great. Okay, so we're just gonna go over one or two of the panes again because there's a couple of little bits I can see on the glass that didn't come off with the water fed pole. You can see there's a little mark there that'll be come off with the soap and bronze wool. But again, you wouldn't see that from down there. So all we're using today is water with a bit of fairy liquid on the applicator. Rub that into the glass like so. on all the panes. Now, we're not gonna squeegee it just yet, we're gonna use the bronze wool. So you can either pop your applicator back in your bucket on a belt, or just pop it on the sill, as long as it's obviously not a windy day. And now grabbing our bronze wool, which is here, we'll leave a link in the description below to bronze wool. And there's a little bit there, so you basically just do all your edges first, and then fill in the middle. That's probably the best way to do it. Just fill it in like that, and just rub it in like that and don't worry this will not scratch the glass bronze wool is very good for cleaning glass really good so again doing our edges and fill in the middle like so Okay, now we've soaked up and we've bronze walled our windows. We can uh, soap them up again. And then using our 12 inch squeegee, we can blade them down. And this time they will look absolutely brilliant. So like I say, you won't have to do this probably on all windows. Depends how fussy you are. Or how fussy the customer is, I guess. What are they basically require of you? We're using the Mormon Accelerator and the Mormon Liquidator, which is leaving me with zero detailing to have to do on the edges, as you can see. There's nothing around the sides, so it's just cleaning up the residue at the bottom of the window. Like so. And to hold the rubber in even tighter, just dry that for you. We've got Unger green clips in there as well. And that just holds the rubber even better. Just stops it from moving if you get any areas of friction on the glass. Now that is already looking really, really good, much better. And what we're gonna do just to finish up, we're just gonna wipe here as well. This is just part of, it's part of the window to me that is still part of the same material as that, so that is also going to be getting cleaned as well. Okay, so if the customer was to obviously pop their head out the window and have a look, they'll be able to see that you've done a really thorough job. So that is 100% clean now, using both methods. Okay folks, so I want to show you this lower window. Reason being, 
these are, again have all been done with the water fed pole so we're just going to go up the ladder here and this part here was scrubbed with the water fed pole quite thoroughly and this will not come off it's very very sticky residue might have actually come off of the trees so that is going to need probably razored off even with the bronze wool probably won't come off so we're going to have to razor that one but there are bits across there as well that have not come off with the brush so I'm going to give it a soap up and get all this stuff off of the pane looking brand new okay so today we are using and always have done for quite some time this is the Unger Ninja Razor 6 inch and that just comes off no problem at all there we are and that slight bit of residue there now will probably come off with the bronze wool which we'll just grab now so taking our bronze wool it might be difficult to see on the camera but it's a bit of residue there and I can actually feel that under the bronze wool the friction with that area of dirt there and now it's gone it's now nice nice and smooth to scrub on the pane now you can actually feel the difference when it's gone there we have it and we'll just blade that down yep and it's completely gone it's looking really good now next month when I come around to do it, then I can do it with the water fed pole and it'll be no problem at all because these windows have not been done in quite some time, probably years. So, you know, it's just this, it's the first occasion you need to work like this, if you choose to. Obviously remember and price it accordingly, but this is the best method I think for getting those windows looking absolutely spotless on the first clean and then it makes your life a lot easier for all those following maintenance cleans. Okay, we're just going up this other side now. And again, I can see there's bits that just wouldn't come off. So again, you can tell with experience what will probably come off with bronze wool and what won't. But I can tell this stuff that's on this side will come off no problem at all. So again, do our edges. And fill in the middle. Okay, now because the sun is directly on the window, the windows are drying up a bit quicker. So if you need to, don't worry, just obviously re-wet the window again before you go to blade it. Because if you try and squeegee a window where the soap has already started drying, you're just gonna leave streaks everywhere. So no problem in reapplying the soap again. And then just blade it down. Now you can hear there's no squeaking, no issues using the liquidator because I have the uh, soap on the applicator and it's creating a nice smooth glide. So one thin line of soap on there, thin line of soap on there, rub that into the glass and that'll do you for a good few windows before you then need to dunk your applicator in the bucket and then reapply the soap once more. So there we go folks, perfectly clean windows and that means now that I can drive away with peace of mind knowing that they are 100% and then maintenance cleans will be nice and easy after that. Okay then folks, so that is the job completed and the customer is really, really happy. We made a really good impression with this lady because she saw to what extent we were going to to get those windows looking absolutely fantastic. Um, it came up really well. So yes, using a combination of the water-fed system and traditional methods afterwards has resulted in the windows looking absolutely, just honestly, they're really, really good, really fantastic. So yes, um, depending on, you know, whether you want to do that, um, remember and price it accordingly, you know, don't under undercut and underprice yourself. It is quite a lot of hard work. Um, you're going around, you know, just a quick flick over with the water fed pole first to get the worst of it off and then go and do it traditionally afterwards. But if it came up okay with the water fed pole, don't feel you have to redo those windows traditionally. You know, just go and inspect them, see which windows that maybe do need redoing and do them traditionally. And you can do it that way. And yeah, get up nose to glass, double check your work before you go, uh, especially on a first clean. 
Remember, that's your customer's first impression of you and your business. So you want to make sure that that job is 100% as good as you can get it. So, you know, do, do what you can. And uh, if it works for you, then feel free to copy that method. <laughs> okay then folks, so that is personally our opinion on why we on a, you know, really dirty clean, first clean, we'll use the water fed pole and traditional methods. And uh, hopefully that's been of some use to you. Any thoughts, any comments, feel free, pop them in the uh, box below there. Much appreciated. Always do appreciate your thoughts on this. Um, we like to learn from you guys as well. So that is really appreciated. And uh, yeah, smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and we'll see you in the next video. You take care, be good, and bye for now.